to do here is show you once you have clicked on the the link to add this plan to your Training Peaks account, either from the email that you receive or from the um, from the website. It's going to take you to this page here. Once you're in here, if it's your very first time, you're going to create an account. And let's just go ahead and create a new account. Um, whatever you want it to be. And that's already a name. So we're going to give it a different name, Tim Tester 111. And the email address is right here. I think that's what I had in there, but I'm not sure, so I will verify it. Um, and you'll read all this stuff, agree to the terms of service, and submit. So once you come into this page, you'll want to read all this carefully. They have some great um, links in here telling you how to load the plan and stuff like that. I'm going to go over that quickly with you because I think um, in order to do this correctly with the way we are administering the plans is important. So you're going to come in here and it's going to load up your account and you're going to get a how to get started video and a warning to validate your email address. This is extremely important. You will definitely 100% want to validate your email account. That is how Training Peaks will send you um, your workouts each day, and it's also a way that I can uh, communicate with you. Once you get to the Getting Started page right here, the how to videos, I highly recommend watching the overview. Click on Settings, watch those videos. All of these links up here click on them and watch the videos. If it's the very first day of the very first month, this is what you should be doing today on your training is getting familiar with Training Peaks. I'm not gonna click on it and play it now. Now, you're over here and you have your view your plan now. You can click on that. That's basically the same as clicking on this link here to open up the plans. So you can see that I've purchased Weekend Warrior Program 1, month one. I'm gonna click on that and it's going to open it up and it's going to let me apply it. So I need to apply the plan to my calendar. So I click on it and it's going to apply. Now, you can see at this point, I think this is a very ugly representation. So I want to show you a couple things. One is this week here is empty. So I'm going to click ahead one week. That's going to move everything up. Now you're going to notice it's showing three weeks on the calendar. I'm going to click on show calendar here. We want to show workouts. We're not using meals. Metrics is up to you if you want to add metrics on how you feel each day and things like that. And then the week summary. And then I like to show four weeks of the plan. Okay. Now you can also for now you can go through this later, this window over here, but for now, I'll just click here and close that. So, you'll notice here that the workouts are all gray. The first thing you're going to want to do is go underneath of your account, account settings, and it's going to open up the account settings. I highly recommend you go through every one of these and set them, but for now, you want to go to calendar and layout. You want to hit show colorized workouts and keep it on by workout type. Now, when you hit OK or apply, you're going to see that the workouts are not now all colorized. The green is usually recovery days. The light blue are strength workouts and the green color here are cardio workouts. The next thing you want to do on each workout day, you want to click on it. And you're going to go in here and it's going to open up a window. Within this window is the description of everything you need. You'll see that it says to copy and paste the URLs into your browser. The URLs are down here. I've gone through a lot of 
um, effort to create PDF documents, and that is the the uh, the meat and potatoes of this workout, or the heart and soul of how you will get your workouts on number of reps, number of sets, and which exercises to do. You can copy and paste, or you can go right here to this little guy, this little link guy, click on it, and it'll open up the links that are contained down here. So then you could just click here, and you don't have to copy and paste. So if we go over here to the anatomical adaptation workout, you'll see here it says copy and paste the URLs, or I can click here and I can open up the files. So if you'll notice also the nomenclature, there are two sets of workouts for this, one ending in gym, the other ending in the TRX. So this is the gym-based workout, and this is the TRX-based workout. So you'll click on it. If I'm doing the gym workout, I click on it. It's gonna open up a page. Now in, or in uh, with a Mac, I can open in preview, but I also um, highly recommend that you download Adobe Reader. It seems to work better in Adobe Reader, these PDF documents, than it does in some versions of preview. You can also save the file to your desktop, which I highly recommend. For now, you're just going to preview, and you'll open that up, and once it downloads, this is the PDF document that you want. This tells you how to do each and every workout. If you need to click on get to the form and ask questions, here's the link. But you'll see down through here, now this page here on every workout is a page that I've set up to where you could print this and take it to the gym or out in the garage or wherever you want to work and you'll have a quick reference back to it. And then each one of these workouts or exercises are described down through here. So you'll want to do that with every single one of these workouts. So if you come over here to the steady moderate cardio effort, you'll see here it's a description of it. Scroll down. Sometimes there's post-activity comments. Sometimes there's pre-activity comments. Sometimes there's nothing. Now you also want to be careful that there's a more button to expand because sometimes when you click on that, let me find one like this one right here. Looks like there's only one workout. If I click on it, there's actually two workouts. The forum is located right up here. If you have questions, click on that. That will take you to the RacerX Virtual Trainer Coach Sagey forum, which is the very first one on the list. You also have access to all of the other Training Peaks forums. But for now, if you want to ask us a specific question, that is the forum that you can go into. So that ought to get you started. Um, like I said, if you have questions, go to the forum and ask us. Otherwise, good luck and have fun training.